Born into one of McMinnville's founding families on March 3, 1976, Lisa Macy loved athletics from the earliest of ages, made evident by her first word being ball. Whether it was swimming, tennis, soccer, basketball, volleyball, track, or even Little League baseball, her versatility and passion came through in every sport she tried. She brought an unmatched level of intensity to every competition, earning her vast acclaim in each sport, but especially basketball and tennis. When she was only in the sixth grade, Lisa was recruited to be a part of the regional AAU and BCI All-American basketball team that would compete on a national level. In the summer of 1990, just before entering Mack High as a freshman, Macy led her All-American team to two national championships while she took home the team's MVP award. Going into her freshman year at McMinnville High School, Lisa realized that basketball could be the vessel that made it possible for her to live her dream of being a Division I collegiate athlete. So she decided to not play volleyball in order to focus more on basketball and tennis, which she loved equally. Right before the start of basketball season in a routine checkup, doctors noticed that Lisa had developed a heart condition called tachycardia, which results in an excessively rapid heart rate caused most commonly by exercise. She had to fight through a lot of frustrations because she had a heart condition that would send her out of games because it would go up to about 225 beats per minute. She'd have to leave the game. And so we had situations like where she'd have to leave the game in a tight situation because the Metro League, there were no easy opponents. She broke a table in the locker room one time because you would actually go and do exercises to stop the heart for, to change the pace. And uh, my wife and her dad were in there and they were holding the table and she was pulling on it and she broke the top of the table off trying to get back out on the game so she could play. And so, uh, you know, that was a struggle and she was lucky she was able to take care of that after senior year and have a surgery to take care of it. Determined not to let anything stop her, Macy worked to control her heart while she became the first freshman girl in school history to not only make, but also start as the varsity basketball team's point guard. In fact, she was one of only five freshman players to make a varsity team and the only freshman starter in the entire league. On a team with six seniors, the role of being the freshman floor general would have been a daunting task for most. But Lisa proved all doubters wrong by leading the team in assists with six per game and the Grizzlies to a 17 win and six loss season. They finished third in the always tough Metro League, while Lisa wrapped up an incredible freshman season averaging nine points, 2.5 rebounds, and two steals per game. She set a school record for single season assist with 139 and earned herself an all league third team selection. The Bears lost to a strong Marshall squad in the first round of sub-tournament play to end an excellent season. I had known Lisa, but we had heard of this freshman kind of hotshot coming in, and um, and I was a sophomore, and just first seeing her play, her dribbling skills is what really stood out, and her three-point shooting um, kind of blew me away just as a freshman. She was great. She she had a, a great skill of being able to see the entire floor as you know as a point guard. That's very important, but. As a freshman, it's even more impressive that she could do that. Um, she could advance the ball quickly. She, had, um, she was a good shooter. She just had an intensity in her eyes, and everyone just would pick up on it. It's like she would just look at you and, you know, just give you the feeling like, okay, let's do it. You know, bring it on. Let's get serious. And she really didn't have to say much. You know, she just she's was a leader by example and people just pick up on it and she'd bring everyone up. It's also nice to have your best players be your hardest workers, and that's the way she was. She always tried to get the best out of herself and she always pushed herself in practice and, and just led by example. She didn't have to do it vocally, even though she did when needed, but uh, she did by the example she set at practice and games. Every possession was real important to her. It, it really aided her when she made a turnover and that was really struggling her freshman year because it's a huge jump from eighth grade basketball to varsity basketball, especially we're in the Metro League, which was the best basketball league in the state. It's pretty unheard of to have a freshman come in and start, you know, starting point guard. So it was unusual. Lisa made it onto another veteran team that tennis season as she became the number one singles player on a team with eight seniors. After helping the team achieve a 10 and five record, coach Marianne Mills decided to team Lisa up with senior Amy Roberts in order to compete for the doubles competition. Even though they had never competed in a match together, their unselfish play and competitive nature willed them past the top three seeds in the district tournament to capture the league title. As league champions, Macy and Roberts secured a state playoff berth for the first time in five years for any girls or boys MHS tennis team. Again, they played above expectations in the state tournament by beating their first two opponents before losing a tough match in the quarterfinal round to wrap up an impressive freshman year. The transition into her sophomore basketball season was easier for Lisa, since she was now the undisputed team leader. Macy raised her level of play by increasing her averages to 13.6 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds, and 2 steals per game, all up from the previous season. Perhaps Lisa's best qualities were her ability to pass the ball and make the game easier for her teammates. 
She set a Mack High record for total career assists in only the 10th game of the season with the 230th of her young career, while breaking her own single season record for assists in the process with 153. The Bears won 12 and lost 10 as Lisa received all league first team and all state honorable mention selections as well as the team's MVP award. Macy's second tennis season went a lot like her first as she put a stranglehold on her title as the team's number one singles player. She led the Grizzlies to victories in 12 of their 15 matches during the regular season, while Lisa won the team's MVP award and qualified for the state tournament in the singles competition. She beat her first two opponents soundly before losing a close match in the quarterfinal round. She really was an amazing tennis player. I always thought, gosh, if she'd picked up the racket any longer than three months out of the year, she really, really could have gone someplace with her tennis. She was so good at both. You know, I think she just maybe, maybe focused maybe more on basketball at the time because she needed to um, but in terms of achieving or you know if she would have focused maybe a little more on tennis and and not on basketball she could have done the same thing with tennis too. We always understood that basketball during those times was the priority and because she was a good athlete um, you know she didn't need to play tennis year-round to be as good as or better than a lot of the um, kids that were playing at the time. She's just a tremendous athlete. She always has been. I mean, she, she, and she still is, of course. In her junior basketball season, the five foot nine point guard began to shine brighter than ever before as she increased her scoring average by over five points to 19 per game. Besides leading the team in scoring, she also led the Bears in assists and steals with 6.6 .6 and 3.1 respectively, while pulling down four rebounds each game. In only the 12th game of the year, Macy broke the school record for total career points when she scored her 799th. She led the Grizzlies to 15 wins versus 7 losses, but unfortunately just missed qualifying for the sub-tournament. For her best season yet, Lisa was rewarded with all-league first team and all-state second team selections, in addition to the team and league's most valuable player award. Lisa continued her dominance that tennis season while she had become one of the team's most seasoned and experienced players. She led the team to a nine win and three loss record and once again teamed up with another Amy to compete in the district tournament doubles competition. Despite never playing together, Lisa and second singles player Amy Buffum went four and one to take third in districts and qualifying for the state tournament. Lisa led by example as the two advanced all the way to the quarterfinals while Macy was once again awarded with the team's MVP award. As the senior leader of the basketball team who had already set two top school records, Lisa looked to add to her legacy and secure her dream of achieving athletic scholarship to a Division I college. This time, Macy was leading a very young team as one of only three seniors on the squad. She showed that she was more than up to the task by taking them to a 13-9 record, with the highlight of the season coming at the expense of Portland's St. Mary's. Undefeated and ranked as the state's fourth best team, St. Mary's came into McMinnville expecting to rout the Grizzlies. But they had no answer for Macy as she scored a game-high 32 points, leading Mack to an exciting five-point win and solidifying that the Bears could compete with any team in the state. Lisa led the team in scoring, assists, steals, and even rebounding throughout the season, locking up her third straight team MVP award. Her 22.6 points and six assists per game were tops in the league, which earned Lisa her second straight league MVP trophy. Her average of 3.1 steals per game made her Mack High's all-time leader in total career steals, and she is still the school's leader in points and assists. Macy received all-league first team and all-state second team selections on top of being chosen as KATU's Athlete of the Month for January and the runner-up for Athlete of the Year award. But most importantly for Lisa, her dream of playing Division I college basketball had become a reality. After turning down offers from schools like UCLA, Duke, USC, Notre Dame, UNLV and Oregon to name only a few, Macy fulfilled her childhood dream by accepting a full athletic scholarship to play basketball at Oregon State University. She had size and quickness and um, there's no facet of the game she was weak in. Maybe her only deficiency was that she was maybe too unselfish at times when she could take over a game and she would use her teammates more than she needed to. Uh, but she was so strong offensively and defensively in every facet of the game that there was really no weaknesses. She was just an expert at the game. She knew different situations, um, where the ball needed to go and um, what plays needed to happen. And I think that that just makes her an exceptional player. Before attending OSU, she finished out an excellent senior year by once again leading the tennis team as their number one singles player to an 11-3 record and one of the best seasons in school history. Lisa was selected onto the all-league first team and as the team's MVP for the third season in a row. Amy Buffum and her once again teamed up as doubles partners for the district tournament, this time winning the league championship. 
Again, they advanced all the way to the quarterfinals before ending Lisa's incredible tennis career, which saw her compete in the state playoffs all four years. This is one of the most athletically gifted people I've ever seen. I would think that she could have been a great athlete in pretty much any sport she would have chosen. She's got the whole package of speed and quickness and hand-eye coordination and uh, competitive desire, uh, just everything. She's just a phenomenal athlete. I mean, she any sport she wanted to play, she would have been fantastic at. She was great in tennis, she would have been great in track, she was a great volleyball player but decided not to play. She's just the kind of athlete that no matter what you put her in, she's going to do well because one, she's going to push herself and uh, she wants to learn the game. After graduating from MHS in June of 1994 with a GPA of 3.91 and a plethora of student athlete service awards such as the Mac Club Athletic Scholarship and the U.S. Army Scholar Athlete Award, Lisa entered her freshman year at Oregon State. Beaver basketball had another strong season as they finished third in the Pac-10 and ranked 21st nationally. They defeated four of the country's top-ranked teams on their way to their second straight NCAA playoff appearance, losing to Western Kentucky in the second round of the tournament. Behind a junior All-Pac-10 guard, Lisa filled the role of backup point guard well as she adjusted to the college game. However, her passions were changing and after the season was over, she decided to follow her heart and step away from the game of basketball. Lisa desired to be a regular college student without the rigorous year-round basketball workouts. She decided to devote herself to her studies and play intramural tennis while earning her bachelor's degree in science. While studying abroad, Macy developed a passion for outdoor sports such as skiing and surfing, which she still does with regularity today. She achieved her master's degree in special education from Portland State University and eventually started teaching at Mountain View High School in Bend and coaching their tennis team. I went over and watched her when she was at Mountain View back in 2006. I watched her conduct a practice and I think I came back and I, I told uh, Sean Burke, I said, this is one of the top certainly one of the top young tennis coaches in the state, and top five there. But I think it's one of the top 10 or 15 coaches in the state. Uh, Lisa's just outstanding. And uh, after I leave, that's where your next coach should be. And I think I told him that exactly. I said, I, I just went over and saw your next coach. I've seen a lot of tennis coaches in 23 years, obviously. I've been through a lot of them. And uh, she is that good, just the way she conducts practice and works with the kids and the dedication. And, and everything so today in addition to working in special education lisa is currently teaching leadership and activities classes while being the head varsity girls tennis coach at mcminville high i know she works with the tennis girls and she does an outstanding job there she's just she's a leader and um, she leads in the classroom she does a leadership class here you know that she's going to do her best and uh, she's going to do attempt to do what's right at all situations so as a person just as an athlete she's just an outstanding individual I, you should ask her how many aids she has she probably has like 59 aids there and what that means is a lot of people like being around her because it's not just that she's a pleasant person to be around it's that she's a great role model and i think that's the great thing about uh, lisa as a coach too and this ties into her as a leadership person is that the role model is the key here and a lot of these girls really look up to her as a positive role model and that's a good thing that, that's a tremendous value to our school. Being back at MHS since 2006 Macy has the opportunity to continue to be an excellent role model in a multitude of ways. I know that that uh, she's one of the top athletes of all time in the school and, and she would go in the Hall of Fame for that alone but at the end of her coaching career she certainly should go in for that too if she continues because she's uh, simply outstanding as coach. From her dominating athletic career to her current impact as a classroom mentor and tennis coach, Lisa Macy's future could be brighter than her past.